Welcome to the American Heritage Gallery of Art, featuring the paintings and photography of artist Craig Persley. Born and raised in Nebraska, Craig began drawing before kindergarten and was winning awards by age six. He sold his first painting at 11 and received his first commission at age 13. At 17, he was chosen to be one of the few to attend the state's high school fine arts course at the University of Nebraska. As a result of his work there, like this drawing of a zebra, he was singled out by the university faculty to receive the state's Outstanding Young Artist Award for 1971. Also at 17, he completed an 8 by 24 foot mural that is still proudly displayed in his high school. Along the way, Craig was chosen as class president every year and excelled in sports, still holding records there, including a 50 point game in 1972. As a college art major, Craig's work was frequently chosen to represent the school in student art shows and was called especially gifted by some of his teachers. While a junior at Colorado State University, he took some of his drawings to the Fort Collins Police Department and soon became their composite artist, working with witnesses and victims of crimes to put perpetrators' likenesses on paper. Word of his abilities spread quickly, and before long, Craig was working with more than a dozen law enforcement agencies in northern Colorado, including the FBI. For the nine years he worked with them, his drawings were frequently credited directly with the arrests of many criminals. After graduating, he started teaching art and also began working as a freelance artist, getting deeper into realism. Soon, he was entering and often winning art shows, including a national Best of Show award for this painting of a 57 Chevy. In 1983, Craig left teaching and moved to California and soon found work as an illustrator for the Orange County Register newspaper, a job he held for the next 23 years. While there, he created thousands of illustrations for every section, from sports, to entertainment, to food, to travel. He created a series that would become the most popular reader participation program in the paper's history. Called Dreamscape, each illustration would be accompanied by a title and a caption. Together, they provided a springboard to the imaginations of any reader who wanted to write a story to make sense of it all. Winners were chosen each month and their stories published. Over the course of 40 such contests, readers responded with more than 9,000 imaginative stories, from humorous to tragic. While still at the Register, Craig began taking on more freelance work, in particular with a baseball theme. He became the artist for the California Angels, doing many posters, magazine covers, and illustrations for them over the next several years. Soon he was contacted by Bowman Baseball Card Company to do their insert cards for the 1990 set, which were also printed larger for limited editions. Next, Topps Magazine hired him to do a series of two-page illustrations, and Upper Deck commissioned over 50 paintings which were used on their Heroes of Baseball collector sheets. By the early 90s, Craig had received a national reputation for his sports artwork. He was part of the number retirement ceremony for baseball great Nolan Ryan at Anaheim Stadium, giving the Hall of Famer an original oil portrait. Later, the Ted Williams Museum in Florida asked Craig to paint the players Ted himself had chosen as the 20 best hitters of all time for his Hitters Hall of Fame. Though the deadline was incredibly rushed, Craig came through on time for the museum's opening, completing 20 portraits in just 22 days. Today, one of the paintings from that set, a portrait of Hank Aaron, hangs in the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Along the way, after submitting a voice audition tape in the early 90s, Craig was asked and was honored to sing the national anthem before a total of seven Angels games. All the while, Craig maintained his job as a newspaper illustrator and in the mid-90s began pushing himself further there as well. He began writing to accompany some of his artwork and later writing just for its own sake. Many of his writings were published in other newspapers and magazines as well. But painting remained his main passion. Gradually, his style loosened up from the hyper-realistic to more impressionistic, as shown in these works done of his brother 30 years apart. He finds this looser technique much more satisfying. He used this quicker style on an eight-foot square mural of Ronald Reagan, consisting of 256 smaller panels, assembled to complete the whole work. Craig is shown here in 2000 with museum director John Langelier 
when the mural was delivered to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum in Simi Valley, California, where it resides today. Late in 2006, Craig left the Orange County Register after nearly two and a half decades to pursue a fine arts career full-time. He immediately dove in headfirst, painting nearly 200 works the first year and gaining acceptance into eight galleries from coast to coast. After barely a year in the nationally recognized Villas and Verandas Gallery in San Juan Capistrano, California, he was given a one-man show, where nearly a quarter of the show sold out in the first two days. He is a member of the Laguna Beach Plein Air Painters Association and the prestigious California Art Club. His work is in private and corporate collections across the country and overseas. Now living in New Hampshire, Craig and his wife Julie opened the American Heritage Gallery of Art, displaying his paintings and the beauty of New England. Since moving to New Hampshire, he's continued to let his creative juices flow as the lead singer for the classic rock group called The Rocking Chairs, for whom he is also now writing music, including that which you're listening to now. Twice The Rocking Chairs have played in the Cavern Club in Liverpool, England, made famous by the Beatles in their early days and billed as the most famous club in the world. See next door at the Hop Ice Cream Shop for more information on the rocking chairs. Though other interests continue to round out Craig's individuality, painting has and always will be his main focus. And most days you'll find him at his easel, either outside or here in the gallery. We know that considering a purchase of art can be a significant investment, and often it's difficult to imagine what a painting here on our walls would look like in your home. Because of this, we offer a service to remove all doubts. Simply email us a photo of the wall in your home on which you're considering adding a painting. We can Photoshop into it the painting you have in mind and return it to you. You can see for yourself immediately if it will work or not, and without the risk of a large expense. Ask at the desk for details. Portrait commissions are also available. We hope you enjoy your visit to the American Heritage Gallery of Art and hope you'll come back soon. We're open from May to the end of October each year in beautiful Bath, New Hampshire. You never know who you might run into here.